Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. I've lately been trying out a product called SimLab Composer, a package that covers rendering, animation, mechanical simulation, and much more. For this video report, I'll focus on the visualization and simulation tabs. Let's look at its rendering environment to begin with. Here is a headphone model that comes preloaded with the software. The assembly tree gives you the components and subcomponents of the model, and the different viewing modes give you slightly different configuration with transparency, shading, and outlines. Now I just turn on the real-time mode, which gives me a rendered realistic view as I work. I can drop a material into the model to change its look, and the updates are instantaneous. The software comes with a series of spotlight or diffused lights you can apply to the scene for dramatic effect or emphasis. The preloaded high definition background environments let you add backdrops to your scene with just a few clicks. The configuration options include activating ground plane reflections and shadows for added realism. It also lets you add 3D text. Now that's a useful feature if you are planning to create asset for your marketing department or use it for a customer presentation. Now let's switch over to simulation for a bit. This is designed to let you simulate the mechanical behaviors of assemblies for interaction, force, clashes, and so on. The one very useful feature is the single click command to let the software scan your assembly data and identify different sub assembly internal components. This is a SOLIDWORKS assembly imported into the software. Once I let the scan complete it, I now have a feature tree with all the internal components I can choose and interact with in isolation. Since simulation is about the interaction of sub assembly components with one another, you'll need a way to treat them separately. This is where you assign joints or the type of connections between parts. Now that determines how the two parts can move in relation to each other. I'm telling the software that this cylindrical part can revolve around this central pin. Now this is in general simulation software maker's dilemma. In real life, the two parts, if built correctly, will behave the way you anticipate more or less in response to physics and gravity. But in a software, you need to tell the software how the two solid blocks are related or how they will interact with each other. That means choosing them and clicking them in the precise, correct order, choosing the right options and calling the connector by the right name. If you don't know how to do that, your simulation won't come across correctly. Because the simulation setup process varies from software to software, it takes a lot more than mechanical expertise to do that takes software expertise as well. And this is something that can be a significant barrier for a novice or even a casual user. But once you do this correctly, you can activate the simulation and watch the way the assembly works. This helps you determine if you need to fix some geometry or address some clashes. The challenge for the simulation software makers is to design the process interface so that people don't have to fumble around with a lot of knobs and downs and options and clicks so that the simulation setup process can be as intuitive as possible. In SimLab Composer, the resulting simulation can be saved for replaying or published so that you can share it with your boss, your client, or another team member to discuss how to improve your design. The software is available as hobbyist, professional, mechanical, and ultimate editions, with annual subscriptions beginning as low as $48 a year. This is a rich, robust package for rendering and simulation for good value, a package with just one focus alone, either for simulation or for rendering, could run you that much in the market. If you are a CAD or a 3D modeling software user who want to delve into rendering and simulation, it's worth trying out the trial version of SimLab Composer. So until next time, this is Kenneth Wong running software tests in his virtual software lab.